the ring, and the crowd is making a lot of noise about it. Standy, you'll remember, had his big day as he goes into the ring on May 25th, 1972. Omaha, Nebraska, fighting Joe Frazier for the heavyweight championship of the world. And Joe Frazier, after four reasonable rounds, demolished him in the fifth. Let's look at some of that action. Joe Frazier, Stander leaning all over. Stander, a journeyman fighter. But if he can do nothing else, he can punch. Joe Frazier and Ron Stander going at it May 25, 1972. And it was in the fifth round, as I noticed, that Joe Frazier did it to Stander and the referee had to stop the contest. Now you're looking at Kenny Norton in his dressing room. Kenny Norton who had his big, big hey, day of it yeah. in May, or back in March 31st, 1973, forgive me, at the San Diego Arena. That was the day he stunned the world when he fractured Ali's jaw and won a split decision over Ali, which Ali later avenged. And then disaster struck him, Kenny Norton, in March of 1974 at Caracas, Venezuela, when George Foreman and Norton seemed transfixed that day, almost paralyzed. Foreman knocked Norton out in the second round. Ever since, he's been coming back, and he's been biding his time, hoping for a shot at Ali, which he expects to get later this year because he has been a difficult fighter, as noted, for Ali in the prior two decisions, which he split with the champion. In the meantime, the one big thing he's done since the Norton fight was against Jerry Quarry, and that was in 1975 when he knocked out Jerry Quarry and forced Jerry Quarry once and for all to finally retire. And in just a couple of seconds, you'll be seeing that action, and what I want you to note Bam. is how Kenny Norton can Norton. punch with either down. hand. Watch this now. Kenny Norton against Jerry Quarry. We'll talk more about Norton, of course, during his fight tonight with Ron Stander. But the big thing to see here is the man can punch with either hand. And the referee had no choice but to stop the contest. Look at that left against Quarry, and that's what set it up for the stoppage of the fight. Now, I've already talked to you about Ali against Norton on March 31st, 1973. I want to pick up with the action in that fight, Kenny Norton's biggest moment, as I described it then, when an unbelieving crowd in the San Diego arena saw Ali really beaten up. Good right fight, but that right hurt Muhammad Ali. That right hurt Ali. It got in there and then blood in Ali's mouth, too. Norton is all over. Norton is the one with the fight left in him. Countdown for the end of the fight. Ali's mouth is bloody. The left gets in and a good right. He is all over Ali. Kenny Norton's greatest moment. While he's been biding his time, he's become a very interesting personality, biding his time in the sense of waiting for a shot at Ali. He's become a motion picture star. Mandingo was the movie that made him prominent in the motion picture sense, and he's just made another movie called Drum. To show you the other side of Kenny Norton, here are scenes from those films. Right. Yes. All right. Round one underway, as you can see. Kenny Norton against Ron Stander. The scoring this fight on the five-point must system per round. It has a mandatory eight count. Three knockdowns of a fighter in one round will end the fight. There's no saving by the bell. Stander in the red trunks, the white fighter. Kenny Norton in the blue velvet with the white trim, the black fighter. Kenny Norton, once a sparring partner of Joe Frazier. Much more than that now. 
looking at Stander's body, you can see that he's got too much weight. Plain truth about this man is he is a journeyman fighter. He once had dreams like all fighters do. Somehow they linger because what else can he do at this stage? He's 31, Kenny Norton's 30. See Norton get that left in there. Stander lost two out of three fights in 74. Won three out of five in 75. He cuts quickly. His face is red right now, and there's a cut over his left eye. This won't go long at all. Stander flailing away, but Kenny Norton doing the damage. And Stander, a veritable punching bag, very quickly. This is round one of a scheduled 12 round. It won't go that or anything like it. Martin's just eating up on it. Stand is, is a chubby body now. This is the merest kind of prep for what Ali, or rather what Norton hopes, will be the ultimate fight against Ali. He won't have to show his real style in this bout, not against the likes of Stander, but he, Norton is a difficult fighter to contend with because he is an awkward fighter. If we can move our cameras down, he keeps his back leg in the bucket, and his body is always at an angle to you, a hard target to hit. See his back leg always in the bucket. We approach the end of round one. Kenny Norton against Ron Stander and overwhelmingly Norton thus far. The bell for round two, the action gets underway. Kenny Norton is managed by Bob Byron, trained by Bill Slayton. Once Eddie Futch did that job. Eddie, of course, with Joe Frazier. Referee is a veteran, Harry Caccini. The judges, Larry Barrett and Terry Moore. They all vote. It's a big ring they're in. A ring that'll have memories for Ali. It's the ring that was used in Lewiston, Maine, back in May of 65 at the St. Dominic's Arena. When Ali shot the invisible punch, he called it the anchor punch, caught to him by Stephen Kutch. And Liston got a 24 count from a bemused referee who happened to be Jersey Joe Walcott. You're hearing the referee from time to time because we've got a mic on. There you go, there you go. No holding, Sammy. No holding. You heard Harry Caccini say no holding, no holding. <laughs> Wild swinging by Ron Stanley. Left eye is open again. It had been worked on between rounds. Norton is a careful workman in the ring. He works an opponent. He's not going to risk getting hit himself. Some of Stander's blood is on Norton's left cheek, under the eye. Don't be misled if you can see it. It is not a cut on Norton. All right, step back. Step off on We have the countdown in round two. And the best that can be said is it's not over yet. Or maybe that's the worst. Look at that. Just sitting duck. Kenny covers up effectively. In succession, Standers staggering backward, almost the end of round two. 